Larry Krasner, a civil rights attorney who has spent his career resisting prosecutors and police, won the general election Tuesday to become Philadelphia's next district attorney. The widely anticipated win by Krasner has the potential to deliver a major jolt to the culture and priorities of an office still reeling from controversy set in motion by its former leader, Seth Williams, who is serving a federal prison sentence after pleading guilty to corruption. If you, like us, believe it's time to end the death penalty, Krasner told the cheering crowd. If you think it's time to end mass incarceration. If you think it's time to stop making prisoners of poor people by using cash bail. If you are sick and tired of government stealing grandma's house when she didn't do anything wrong. And if you have no intention of helping Trump's immigration agenda, Krasner said. We hope to hear from you. Krasner, who has no prosecutorial experience, now inherits an office with a $38 million budget and 600 lawyers who prosecute more than 40,000 crimes every year. This movement is not going away, Krasner told a crowd of supporters in Center City. He promised transformational change in the district attorney's office aimed at reversing a system that has systemically picked up black and brown people. The crowd erupted in applause before chanting this is what democracy looks like, followed by this is what a movement looks like. His victory tonight demonstrates that voters in Philadelphia, like more and more voters in cities nationwide, increasingly want prosecutors who understand that doing justice means something fundamentally different than winning at all costs, said Fordham Law School professor John Pfaff. Prosecutors who pay close attention not only to the costs of crime, but to the often significant human and social costs that aggressive punishment impose as well.